Hey everyone, welcome back to the React.js beginner course. So in this video, we'll be exploring about how to create our first ever React application and we'll be going through each and every file structure as well as the file that they've given inside a React Manage project. That is when we initialize a new project at the start. So if you find this interesting, let's get started right away. So I've opened my VS code and I'm currently inside my terminal. So I would suggest you to uh, keep all of your React projects inside a separate folder so that the folder structure looks uh, nice and clean. Okay, so over my terminal, uh, let me go to the build folder. So all of my projects are there inside my build folder and let me write npx create react app and then we are going to write uh, the project name. You can give pretty much any name you want. Let's say react tutorial and then we are going to press enter. Okay. So this should install all the dependencies that we want to uh, build our project from scratch. Okay, so let's give it some time to install all the dependencies. Okay, so after it has installed, you should uh, get a message at the bottom which says happy hacking. Uh, so from that point, we are good to go. We can go into the project structure and then I mean we can go into the project directory and then we can start working on our app. Okay, so let's wait patiently for it to install the project for us okay yeah so over here we can see uh, a message which says happy hacking that means our project has been initialized inside our build folder okay so let's go to that project folder so let us write cd react tutorial okay and then let's write code dot So uh, we are uh, we are going to close the last one. That's not required. We are going to use this one itself. Okay. So pretty much this is the code they have given when we initialize the React project. Okay. So we have the node modules. We have the public folder, and then we have the SRC folder, source folder where our app.js, index.js, all those files uh, live over there, and then we have our package.json. Okay. So pretty much let's uh, talk about the main thing that is app.js. So inside of app.js, we are pretty much returning a div with a image tag, the header and a, a tag. Okay. So uh, this, uh, if you look at this pretty much, it is like the HTML uh, code, but it is not same as HTML. It is something called as JSX. We're going to explore more about this in the coming videos. Okay. So next we have something called as package.json. So over here we have the name of the project that is created that is react tutorial and we have the version and over here we have the dependency. So pretty much the dependencies create all the uh, dependencies that are installed over here. Okay. And over here we have the script tag. Okay. Over here we have the start uh, build test and eject. So we only uh, need to look about the start and build. So after building our uh, entire application, we have the script for that that is react scripts and then build. Okay, so let's do the uh, cleanup first. So we do not want the app.test.js and then the report web vitals and then setup test.js. So let's remove that. So because we are not going to use that in any part of our application. Okay, so just delete that up. All right, so let's go to our app.js and let me open up a new terminal over here. Okay. So firstly, let us understand uh, the package managers that are required. So pretty much while using react, we have two package managers that is uh, NPM and yarn. So I would suggest uh, you installing both the packages, but yeah, I would suggest you to uh, use yarn because it's faster than uh, NPM. All right. Okay. So let's go to Chrome first and let us type yarn. Yeah. If you go to over here, yarn, and then let's go to CLI. Yeah. You can install pretty much over here. This is for yarn and then let's search for npm over here as well you can install the packages you can just go through a youtube video and then uh, look about in how to install that package so if you go to getting started okay so it should be somewhere over here it should be similar to yarn as well okay If you just type npm install, you're going to get that uh, install power code for your particular uh, system. Okay. So install uh, any one of these two that is, I would suggest you to install yarn so that we can get started with our application. Okay. So over here first, let's run our application. 
so i'm currently in my project structure so let me write yarn start and then hit enter so this should uh, start the development server and it should uh, run on this server that is localhost 3000 so pretty much now we are getting an error because we have removed the file that is uh, report vitals.js so let us go to our app.js uh, not app.js i think it's there inside index.js and let us remove this thing okay because we have uh, deleted that file let's select that and press backspace press enter okay again we have that error yeah because of this thing because we are importing report vi uh, vitals from that file that file doesn't exist currently because we have deleted that so let's go on to backspace yeah so over here we, uh, we can get the message that is compiled successfully uh, over the over here we have the local server that is this one local host 2000 and we have something called as only network that is this one okay so over here we can get the message that is webpack compiled successfully so if you go on to the localhost 2000 you can see the image that is uh, the react uh, logo and we have a basic text and we have a, a tag which says learn react okay that is because if you go to uh, inside our app.js we have the image that is react image and we have a tag a p tag with the basic uh, text okay and then we have a tag which says learn react so now let's remove some things and then let us see if everything is working that is whatever we uh, type inside header okay so let's remove everything inside of header and let us write a h2 tag okay with a message it says let's learn react js save the file okay so let us go back to our website that is localhost 3000 so you can see a message which says let's learn uh, react js so this is pretty much the starting point uh, of our application so from here we can go build our application to whatever level we want to okay so we have initialized a react managed project uh, in this video and we have understood what and all the uh, dependencies that we require and we have also gone through our app.js and we have made changes to it so that we can see the changes inside our website okay so inside our index.js there is something called as react.strict mode so pretty much talking about strict mode so strict mode uh, uses a uh, strict uh, equality that is to uh, that is to check our code in a strict way and it gives us warnings and uh, errors inside our console.log so that we can uh, look about them and then build the application in the in the perfect way okay that's the basic use case of strict mode so pretty much we have understood what is there inside app.js so in the coming videos we are going to understand uh, more better concepts that is starting from the easy concepts that i've uh, already told you in the intro video and then we are going to uh, write the code for that as well so if you find this interesting uh, let's get started in the next video and then thank you for watching